In today's video, what's the best thing to do between your competitions? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravello from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm going to get straight to the point. It came from my Instagram direct message, so thank you so much for the great questions. And the question basically boils down to this. This person sent me a message saying they have multiple competitions scheduled, four weeks apart. That's the time frame they give me, four weeks apart. So what is the best thing to do between competitions? I'm going to give you a couple different scenarios and a couple different answers to the problem, and hopefully one will directly relate to what you got going on there. So, let's say you've got your first competition of the season, and then you've got one four weeks later. The show's over. What do you do with that time frame? Let's talk about two different scenarios. First scenario, you come in peeled, you come in ripped, you win the overall, you're the greatest bodybuilder that ever lived, and then you got a show four weeks later, but it's a step up. Well, when you're already stage lean, it becomes very clear to me what to do between, okay? So hopefully if peak week went well, the way I peak, we're kind of adding in some calories, pulling out the cardio, kind of really filling out as we're getting leaner the final week, call that a little bit of metabolic building, linear progressive loading, whatever you want to call it. So as we're doing that, we're paying attention to how the body's responding because that's going to be the first clue in how to handle the post-show period. That four week period, if you're already peeled, can be a reverse diet. You know, we can start walking calories up and keeping the cardios low. What I find is that our bodies are able to maintain a very lean body composition after a long diet with a lot less effort than it took to get there. Meaning, to get to, let's say, I'm just gonna make up a number, 5% body fat, whatever. To get there, it's a lot of work. You gotta do low calories, you gotta, you know, you gotta do lots of cardio. Whatever you gotta do to get to 5%, you get there. But once you get there, you can stay there with minimum cardio and a little bit more calories, as long as you avoid like going out and, and blowing out of the water for a day or two, you know, not having these four or 5,000 calorie, you know, crazy free days, okay? If we manage it, you can certainly just walk the calories up, stay lean, then depending on what the next show is, well, now you're already in a better position. You can just go into the show peaking like you did for the last show, or you can pay attention to the details. The other option is this. You do the first show, you do well, but you feel like you could have been leaner. Well, four weeks, man, that's a long time, especially for someone that just did a show. Why? Because prep is long, prep is tough. There's anxiety, there's stress, there's lack of sleep, but when you go through a peak week and you get on stage, you get this sense of relief. Ugh, it's out of the way, I feel better. I can actually, you know, kind of let that stress go. What I find is that without, kind of without exception, that second show, everybody looks better. The second show. Now, if we're doing multiple shows over the course of a year, you might start to fade over the course of that entire season. But when, we, when we're back in shows a week, two, three, four weeks apart, without a doubt, everyone looks better. Why? Well, because after that first show is over, you don't have this desire to go crazy, right? You, your season's not done. You already have your next goal. So the night of the show, you might go out and have a nice little meal and then get right back on track. It's, it's having that next goal that is the most important aspect. And then you've also got this little break that was peak week. You got the show out of your way. Now you've got a little energy, a little motivation. Bang, you're back into prep. And you know what your next target is. You know you need to drop another two, three, four, five pounds. And you can do it. And I see everybody start to get better. We start to hone things in. The leaner a person is, the less the person has to lose, right? So when we're talking about someone who's very close to stage weight, you know, at that first show, it might only be a couple more pounds until they're really, really dialed in, okay? So what would I do? It would be one of those two things. I would either take this person who was already dialed in perfectly, just reverse diet them, maybe slowly adding in some calories, keeping the cardio down, putting more emphasis on the training, right? You feel good in the gym again. Or if we're not quite dialed in, now is our opportunity to take advantage of this, this beneficial week that we've had with the peaking, basically kind of a diet break, and now we're gonna get after it again with another great couple weeks ahead. Now, what if your show is longer? Okay, four, six, eight, 10 weeks. What's the longest you should go? A lot of this just comes down to the individual situations. I like to keep all the shows of a particular season in about a two month window, all right? I find that after about two months, things start to get a lot more difficult. Now, I've had clients take the entire year to prep 
um, you know, from January all the way till November and be super successful, okay? So it's not impossible. It just gets more and more difficult to manage because no matter how much food you're eating or how little cardio you're doing, when you've got very low body fat, things just become a struggle, okay? Energy becomes low, workouts start to suffer, your just mood starts to wane, it just starts to drag out. So depending on your goals, whether that's to win your pro card, go to a national show, just do your first couple shows, that's where I will get really specific with instructions on how we should handle this period, okay? Hopefully that helps, hopefully that answers your questions. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.